Uh, welcome back to our channel Nursery to Varsity. In the previous video, we have had some theory session where we tried learning few aspects and basic concept of ETL. Now, going forward, we will work with some enterprise grade tool and we'll see the different feature and the different aspect of the uh, this data ingestion and transformation challenges and uh, how we can solve with this tool. So it would be more practical session going forward. We'll install some tool and explore more about the data ingestion and transformation. In upcoming videos, we are going to explore this open source tool called StreamSet Data Collective. So what is this StreamSet Data Collective? Basically, it is a low latency infrastructure tool that let you create a data ingest pipeline using track and drop uh, UI feature uh, within integrated development environment. In this video, we'll go ahead and install this tool and explore more about it. Uh, let's get started with the installation. Uh, so as you can see, we are on the StreamSet website. Uh, I will put the link in the description so you can go ahead and download this tool. Uh, once you go to this link, you will see the option of downloading the data collector and there are few options are available for the installation. Uh, as in uh, RPM based installation, you can use this option or if you just want to have the data package uh, of all this. And we have two variants, one is the core and one is the tool. So basically, uh, when you install the core version of the data collector, uh, what you can do is like it will have the minimum set of uh, stress library and the letter whenever you require uh, more likely you can install that on the fly so in this demo purpose i'm going to use a core turbo and then hit download go uh, it will ask you for few information you can just fill in uh, and hit submit i have already downloaded this to my system so we'll skip this part uh, you can follow the rest of the step and we'll once the download is complete you will see the below file uh, in your system i have just moved to uh, some other directory uh, because i wanted to keep it separately uh, so let's go ahead and uh, unturn this file Once we enter, we will see this directory is subset to calculator. Let's go inside this directory. And here we have this directory structure. Uh, I will explain more about this directory structure later uh, in upcoming videos. Uh, but for now, to just start this process, what we need is the binaries. So if we go to our binaries folder, we have this subset binaries. What I will go ahead and do is we will start this process. Uh, I'm just going to run this process in. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm getting somewhere. Okay. So there are uh, another process which running on the same port. I think I have struck it. Another SDC process are here. Yeah. Let me go ahead and kill this one. Okay. Now let's start this process again. Yeah. Uh, it will take a couple of seconds to get start. Uh, once this process will start, it will give you the uh, URL where we can go ahead and see whether the installation has been completed successfully or not. Yep. Let me copy this and then we go to the browser URL. Let me copy that URL here in the browser. Uh, yep. Here we go the login prompt. So the default password and credential are admin admin only. Let 
just creating a so they have different uh, variant available in the data collectors. So this is the UI we have. Uh, in upcoming videos, we'll explore more capabilities of this tool. Uh, but I want everyone to first install and come to this stage, and then like, explore more detail and uh, learn different aspect of the data transformation and injection, and how we can leverage all that with this open source. So this is all for today's lecture. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any queries, you can either comment in the comment box or mail us at the nursery to varsity at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.